All right, we're back. Yeah. Let me let me let me put my little background on just some random rap video, but I'm gonna mute it. Okay. Um, dun dun dun. Dun dun dun, bro. Like, and and this is this is gonna be one of them, one of them joints. Now, um, hold on, I cut this, so don't don't worry about it. Um, Kanye. Do you do you do you agree with him? Do you think that you know? Do you think what he's doing is just just another one of his gimmicks? What's what's up with Kanye? What what would you think was going on with Kanye right now? Yay. You tweaking, my boy. Listen, some people have earned the love of us to where we learn to accept and look the other way sometimes. Right. They've done enough for us that we choose to let certain stuff slide. R. Kelly was one I of feel them. like that's that's definitely... See, look, I wasn't trying to compare <laughs> Kanye to R. Kelly. I'm not. I'm just saying he's someone no. who got away with murder for years just because. Nah, fact. So, Kanye, remember, he said that. But look though, I'm saying, yeah, 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 be tweaking, but yeah, he's a human. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know you're human, so I don't blame you for tweaking. But there's just people who forget that you're human. So when you tweak out, they f- they think it's okay. I'm saying what you're doing is not okay, but you're a human, so it is okay. But the certain people who have a certain god complex with you, yeah, they don't understand. Yeah, you a god because you godly. You know what I'm saying? So you a god, right? But they take it a little bit different, yeah. So when they see you tweaking, they don't understand that that's the flesh. They don't understand that you you're not operating in God mode. You use a regular person like us tripping out, doing some dumb stuff. So yeah, I feel like Kanye tweaking, and I feel like he got a lot of points. I feel like he got points too. But most, most hey, quick question, perfect comparison: Kanye West and Charleston White. Don't Charleston White be making a whole lot of points? Don't that man be tweaking out? Don't he be doing some stuff that you don't agree with? Because I don't agree with 100% of what Charles and White do. Just like we don't agree with 100% of things that nobody do. But I'm saying, like, it's literally 50-50 with Charles and White. It's 50-50 with Kanye to me, personally. Oh, uh, I don't I, Charles and White's a whole nother video. Um, <laughs> um, I'm just not even going to touch that on this video. We could easily do it after this, but... Okay, okay. Kanye been a coon, bro. He been a coon, bro. He been a major coon, bro. That's so he's always been that. His thing is, it's on. It, 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 it depends on if you believe that he believes what he's saying, or is he doing it in front of a project. So now you got to figure out: is he is he retarded and cooning, or is he really good at messing with y'all to move a project? I feel like, uh, like memory calls of a genius, right? So I feel like he's the second, the latter. I feel like he's very aware of certain things. And and it, you know when people have uh what's what's the term called like you're so committed to the final result you don't care what you gotta do what you gotta do to get there right I feel like that part like he knows what he wants if the if let's just say for example if the ending result was to garnish attention around such and such da 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 then he don't care how he goes about that same thing like I said with Charles and White you know what I'm saying if the ending result is to garnish attention mm-hmm. around blah 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 right then he, he don't he's, care he's doing what so, he's supposed to do to get that attention. Yeah, I don't feel I don't feel like Kanye making. He's accidentally doing most of this stuff. I feel like it's all very intentional. He knows the repercussions. He knows, you know, what I'm saying he knows that he he knows that all he got to do is is do what say sorry, my bad, y'all, and everybody can be like, I mean, at least Kanye apologized. But see, my, my problem with that is besides this last anti-Semitic thing that they're talking about, he did. I don't know all the ins and outs of that, but my thing is usually the group of people he does this to is his own people. Like he's, so it's like he, 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 he seems to have everything in order with every other group, but us. Why is that? that? I don't like that part either. That's, that was one of my specifics, whatever like that. So I try to be fake politically correct as much as possible. That is something I personally don't like about the situation. I feel like, um, bros like this, like, like when he went into a boosie and he started calling himself a nerd, he was kind of doing that thing. Like, Oh Yeah. Oh, you, you don't like us nerds. It was like you was trying to create like, oh, you're you're a street, you're a street, yeah. you know, you're ignorant the, dude. You're the dangerous I'm the one guy. that 
Yeah, I, I, I don't like that, bro. That ain't cool, bro. Because at the end of the day, all the dangerous black guys are the ones that you make money off. All the dangerous ones. Like, that's why his son was burning his shoes. All the street dudes, they selling all these drugs to buy your stuff. Michael Jordan. What what, 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 uh, what are you doing? What he, what he like doing? Oh, <laughs> I can't even think of it. But the nigga, he be, he, he be saying everybody's names mm-hmm. and doing that. He be like, Bill Gates. Mm. I, I, I'm, I'm the new Michelangelo. Right. right. Yeah. Right. So... You know, I, mean, I don't be digging that, me, you know what I'm saying? To me, it's it's obvious. First of all, you talked to the Seraphim Lord of Kunin when you said Michael Jordan. We're not even going to even... Good gracious, bro. Like it, Piss Kunin, me off, man. Kunin don't get no milkier thicker than Michael Jordan. He's an all-time great of Kunin. But and who's, he's competing with him. Kanye's literally, what? Literally competing with... To an extent, like... Yeah, the only thing that Jordan's, keeps, keeps him different is time. Like, Jordan's been Kunin since the 80s, so... It, it, you know, that that's the only thing is time. I think Kanye does what he does to get attention, but I do think he's a coon. I think he, I mean, my thing is if you you dropping your seat off and what you dropping your seat off, it, it's obvious to me. That's how I look at it. It's like, look what you're dumping in. You're dumping into a family that only exploits black people. Like, Not literally. Only, bro. So from, like, from the top to the bottom, right? Because don't we don't we know her? Don't don't we know the daddy from um, the daddy, mommy, the mommy, daddy? The, the, don't on, we know bro. them from what? He, it was a case. It was OJ, right? Right. All right. right, so right. From the the OJ case, and it, so it's like we know what Kanye is, and I've never bought a Kanye album ever. And um, this is before I knew his politics. I like the I like the there. I like a few songs. Don't get it twisted. But I've never bought a project, bro. I've never yeah. thought to buy a project from him. Maybe like you said, I just have a very ghetto song pop palette or whatever, but he never been that guy the way y'all be acting like he's the man. I, I've never seen that ever, bro. Like, if for real, for real, if you were going to can... It's like, I don't think he's doper than Timberland. I don't think he's doper than Pharrell. I don't think he's, you know, I don't think he's doper than these people. I, I just don't see it where y'all see it at. Like, I, I, I don't see it, but... To me, he's a hyper coon. He will always be a hyper coon. And, and if you invest your thoughts into him, he's going to let you down if you're black. If you're white, he's going to lift you up. Because he's he's one of them self-black, self-hating black dudes that just, his problems is always with his people. Look, he's the good one. Right. I'm I'm one of the good ones. No, listen, listen, listen. And this is what I feel like he does. He does his mediation thing. No, 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 no listen, 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 listen. I can still go to the hood and politic with them. And then I can bring them to you. You guys don't got to deal with the, 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 the black guys. I could just do it for you guys. That's what I feel like he does in a lot of situations. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I got the power. Because also people we- people use that. They weaponize that. Listen, black people still listen to me. They still love me. So whatever y'all need me to do, I'll send the message. Right. I feel like that's what we're doing. Yeah, I think, I'm sorry. I just think he, yeah, I agree. I agree. I just think he's another, you know, he's, as Dr. Umar said, he's part of the black bourgeoisie. And he's mm-hmm. he's not for Negroes, bro. He's never. Hey, where that school at? Hmm. Where that school at? What school? I know Kanye opened up a school. I'm talking about Dr. Umar school. He said he said he was at the school. He was doing live from the school. I don't know. I can't tell you, bro. I don't. These days, I don't know who's who 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 freaking scamming or not. I mean, I just seen something that that Todd Chrisley got locked up for scamming. It's like, what the hell is going on, bro? Well, he's he said he scammed thirty million. I was like, damn. Wait, from that old, from the old white old rich dude, or something. Yeah, yeah. He he scammed from some type of real estate fraud that he was doing, and it's like, damn, y'all had the TV show and y'all scamming too. It's like I don't know who was real, bro. You don't know who's scamming, who not, who real and who not. So at this point, from the sidelines, all we can do is speculate. But when the real shit come out. I'm telling you, in 10 years, the documentaries are going to be crazy, bro. Yeah. When all the truth come out, for sure. The documentaries are going to be nuts, bro. They're going to be nuts. I'm waiting on the legit Lil Wayne biopic, man. Like, that's going to be nuts. The, the legit. All the stuff that right. we was thinking and don't know. And did this really happen? Right. And I don't know. What happened with the... Because because yeah. I, I was pissed when I at this point in time. And I said, wait, what? Young Thugs, manager, shout out. Lil Wayne, talk yeah, that gotta be fake or something. Right, that ain't real. But then you find out back, maybe it was, was real. real. That was real. That was a hundred. That's somebody in jail for that who got out. That's what so, I'm saying. Like, what do we don't know what is real, man? What's real yeah. and what's not? It's like yeah. we think we know, and then when they start breaking it down, you like, what the hell been going on, bro? I, I to be honest, I didn't think I didn't think 
I, people been saying rappers it's fake for so long. I wasn't expecting Post Shiesty and YSL to get really locked up. I thought it was all oh, cap. It's because of this. This this is the here, here, here's that uh what's that old old guy, young guy. This is that divide right here, and I can't wait to say this. That's because all y'all rappers was punks. They was all faking. And unfortunately, my generation is dumb enough to be telling the truth and to be real about all of it. It was y'all who was in this when they when that that ideology of oh rappers just be in the studio lying. That came from like that really means LL Cool. I'm not. I'm just saying anybody name, well, but like that's LL Cool J oh, stop, stop, and Mace. Stop, stop, stop. That was before my time. His hit record came out when I was born. So you 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 okay. overdate me. I did. Right? I did. Okay. All right. But I was talking about that. I was talking about my dad. The Locks era and the Wu Tang era and all that stuff. And they weren't all fake. It was it. Okay. First of all, ain't nobody ran up on DMX yet. He had to die. DMX that's, was that's, one of the real. That's ones. the dog. He also was but, on crack, but he was. <laughs> Because that's how really bro. gets. Right. That's how really it is, on, man. Come on, bro. But I can't say this though. Uh, no, no facts. So the realness of DMX, Jada, parts of Fifty Cent, right? The real, the realness that these things happen, right? We are the products of that. That's why we see some of them. They be a, they be adopting. You see Fifty Cent go to the baby, like, yeah, that's my, but yeah, see, yeah. But see, and now I'm about to loop it back in on you. And okay. and that's what Charleston White has a problem with. Yeah. See, y'all are the byproduct of what Charleston White is talking about. If yeah. y'all well, look. if y'all are birthed or influenced by those people coming up at nine, ten years old, and now y'all older and running around knocking fools' heads off, that's what he's saying that the rat the culture is is more damaging than it is good. That's his point. Now, all other stuff he'd be saying, I can't really get into, but that's his angle. Now, I don't feel like our me speaking for whatever, because I ain't talking about my personal views, but I don't feel like we personally understand that. I feel like we personally take it personally because we don't understand that he's saying y'all are the byproduct. We we feel like he's saying, no, it's y'all fault. You know what I'm saying? It's like, no, we're just following what we thought y'all was on because he's older, so he sat in jail, you know, during the times right. when all the people his age was like right. putting that message out for us to hear. And then now we grow up like, oh yeah, well shoot, such and such got... 50 Cent got shot nine times. You know how many rappers in our generation got shot nine times or like a bunch of times and survived? And it's <laughs> right. like, it, it was only 50 Cent for like the last generation. Right. Now it's like, I have dude, I, Mozzie, who he's dead now. You know, he got shot a bunch of times, survived. Right. There's a lot of dudes. But see, I, I think, I think really that's where Dame Dash comes in and he says, you know, it's not that they're starting to get shot a bunch of times. It's that the white execs are starting to sign people who's been shot. So is, for, not for sure. So is it and people are getting shot or are they saying, oh, this rapper's good and he got shot and that's giving him a chance to get signed? Like, you, you don't know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like yeah. I said, I, I'm not here to blame anybody. I'm not here to say who's right and who's not right or anything like that. I'm just here to say, you know, me as an adult, I can listen to this stuff because it doesn't, it doesn't influence me. Yeah. But at the same time, my thing is, if you had a baby that was seven, he could talk, right? Yeah. Would you let him listen to it? Nah, I so, wouldn't. So if, just, if you if you wouldn't let him listen to it, that means somewhere in your heart you know it's wrong, right? Seventy five percent, eighty percent. My twenty percent is my twenty percent is. Do you let your do you watch rated R movies? I yes. Do. Are you gonna let your Are you gonna let your little five year old watch it? No, which means it's not that it's just bad. It's just too much for that thing. So some of the music, I feel like I can, like you said, it don't affect you. It don't like influence you. I can listen to some of this stuff. My little brother can listen to some of this stuff. My little brother might have a baby. His little baby girl, she don't need it. She don't need to hear but some see, of this stuff. See, that's because you love that person. But see, the people who are putting it out. You know, I give you a perfect example. The family that owns McDonald's, none of them eat McDonald's. I did see that, yeah. Right, because they know it'll kill you. For sure. You see what I'm saying? So if, if my thing is you have to bear some brunt of the, 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 that means you're putting it out and you know the kids are getting their hands on it. You're Matter of fact, you're even aiming it at the kids to get your money out of it, but you're sheltering yeah. your kid from it. That means you know that it's wrong, bro. Well, uh, great example. What, what, uh, what happened with Shorty? Remember, um, it was Cardi B one time, and her daughter was like, yeah, she don't listen to that. Oh, she don't listen to that music. The same way that I remember, I, I used to always say this in defense, because Lil Wayne was my favorite rapper. And my mom was talking about music, and, you know, I, I hear, I'm, here I go rapping some Lil Wayne. Money, 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 get a dollar in the dick. Measy, baby, that crack nigga. And my mom, what did you say? Like, and like, I'm, huh? And then I remember my mom, she, you know, she used to go in a little bit, and I'm like, no, mom. 
Little Wayne doesn't let his kids listen to the music. He says parents need to parent. He need, and it's like, yeah, you see, Reg, Regina is pretty. Uh, oh, you know, I feel like she's she's pretty. Um, she speaks well. I don't feel like she's like she, like I don't know why all of a sudden we heard Lil Wayne say she don't look like that. No, she don't she, seem like she, maybe she maybe because he don't you know they did way better than most of these rap kids turn out to be. Come on, bro. She put together, we don't know too much. Right. She carries speak carry so well. She don't act like super a thought. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She, it's like a balance. I feel like she's pretty well. You know what I'm saying? For for all the things that that man Wayne has said. Because okay. that man, low key, all the stuff he said, like I said, does you know how they say stuff about like, does country music hurt their community? Nah, okay, it don't. Does, but but, but does, also, I feel like does pop music hurt their community? No, now go to another one because I think there are. I don't feel like pop. I mean, no, yes, yes, it does. It does. It does. Watch how? this. Which which pop? Which where we at with it? You mean like general pop, like just, like just, Katy Perry like pop? I kissed a girl and I loved it, like uh, pop right, music. Right. So did did I kiss the girl and I loved it? Did that influence young women? I'm pretty sure. Dude, dude you're a lawyer, bro. You're not, you're not being real, bro. You ain't real, hey, bro. I, Come on. He said it first. I'm telling you, bro. I know. I, I'm, I'm telling you, if I ever catch a case, I get myself out of it because I know what the heck is bro, going on. Bro, you said did saying, it hurt? It did. It, it, bro, you're saying that Katy Perry's music. Did as much damage as a gangster rap's music, a real rapper's music. Let's slow it down. You didn't say as much. We wasn't comparing. You said did it. I said and, okay. Yeah. So if it did, what damage did it do? Okay, cool. Think about all these little girls doing this every day. Yeah. I'm just saying, Paris Hilton. I'm just saying. I'm just saying these that they they're pop stars. Oh, yeah. Even Paris Hilton is a pop star, and she was signing Young Money. But I'm saying she's a pop star. So you so saying her she life throws style, up? I'm saying anorexia, believe me, all that oh, other from stuff. The way that they I'm saying look, that they're that, yeah, to... that mental image of themselves. Okay. I feel you like they influence that. that heavily. You got me on that, but that's that's probably the fashion industry in a whole. But I, I see what you're saying. I, I and just it's thought, fashion but, culture, pop culture. I understand, fashion that, culture but culture. your head's not gonna get blown off if a whole bunch of chicks walk by you with a throw up on their breath, bro. It's like you're Watch to the point this. now. Your mama can't walk through certain neighborhoods, bro. you that's a that's way different than chicks want to be skinny. You're right. But watch this, though. Okay, now, them neighborhoods, right? It's hip-hop music that made, specifically, that makes that neighborhood be dangerous? Or is it literally drugs, crack, not having money, Mm -hmm. all that other stuff like that? You know what I'm saying? So I feel like what happens is, I'll put it this way. This is what I always say, and this is an opinion. I've always said this. I feel like um, it's way easier for us to point, it's way easier for us to point the finger at Mm -hmm. black people. If that makes sense, because well, like, well, the reason why we point the finger at the reason why we point the finger at black people because if we can't govern ourselves, all the stuff you're saying is right about them, but we're not governing them. If we can't cover govern ourselves yet, we can't hold them accountable yet. So we haven't even got us together yet to even be talking about what they're doing. That does make sense. When you when yeah, you, go, when, you go, when you go to the ATM, you're not scared of white people, bro. Let's just be one hundred. Let's be real. You, I, I'll give it to you, I, I I give it to the perfect example. When you drive through, when you drive through Bel Air, you don't feel scared. <laughs> and when you drive through South Side of Compton, it's a totally different feeling. It's a totally yeah. different feeling. So, so what I'm saying is, if we don't have respect for each other, then why are we even talking about what they're putting in our? If we have respect for our, each other, they could drop it off in our neighborhood. We wouldn't touch it. How, well, that's impossible. Not true. Because when you go to the Orthodox Jews in New York and you drop a McDonald's, they're not gonna make no money. Because they eat from their people. You go to you go to right. Chinatown, you can't just drop whatever you want in Chinatown. They're not gonna mess with it. So because they have respect for themselves. That's that's all I'm saying. But I I get well, you got some points, young nigga. You got some points, you know what I'm saying? I can't be on here with him all day, bro. I gotta get off here. If y'all like these, let me know. Uh 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 new music coming from a kill VCR soon. Um yes, sir. If, if you're a rapper trying to get into some of these conversations, just hit the hit the IG, let me know. We can set it up. You got to have a Discord, doggy. You ain't got a Discord. Don't call me. Don't talk to me. I ain't, ain't stream yard and ain't none of that. You got to have a Discord. You better, you better be able to rap. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'll you better be able to rap better than me, but that means ain't nobody going to be able to get the chance to get the chance to get up in the moment. So you right, better be able to right. come with that. Yeah, because because we, we we coming. We, we, we doing that we, we, for we, sure. We not, and, when I, and if you want a feature, you know what I'm saying? You can hit me. You can hit him. You know what I'm saying? He probably gonna tell you a better price for me than I'm gonna tell you. Cause I'm, I'm gonna tell you something crazy. I'm, so you might as well hit him. Right. He be, right. Yeah. That's a fact, man. Uh, we trying to do better. Uh, it's the first one though. It's the first one though. Uh, first one.
Peace to the God, rebirth, and re education is only for the nation. School your occupation. All I smoke is good, though. You know, it's a VCR song, right? You know, NRA, we, we own the music, bro. Ain't, ain't no ain't no exact messing with us. All I smoke is good, though. Hey, green roses, green roses. Yeah, all I smoke is good, though. Hey, green roses. Green rose, green rose, smoking pip right out the zip, cause I can never trust the bitch. I also focus on my shit, so suck my dick and hush your lips. 93 is what I breathe, is what I be, so what you need? I was born in 95, I'm too ahead of my time. Ring, 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 ring. Hello? Oh, I got it for the low, you're watching me, just watch a hoe. You play with me, you gotta go. We throw up signs like Naruto, drop a foe inside my body, smack you with the Bottle, bro. I'm a smoker, I'm a smoker until my body comes to toes. Even when I'm holy ghost, I'm blowing over the holy smoke. Yeah, I am my only hope. I'm the man that's action folks. Now they pay me for my quotes. You broke your cell, you own these doors. Hey. How about the porch? How about the curve? Whoa. Hey. Say the word, just say the word. Whoa. It's so cold, make it sick burn. Whoa. Kill the camera when I put in my burn. Whoa, hey. how about the porch? How about the curb? Whoa, Whoa. hey, say so the word, just say the word. Whoa, Whoa. it's so cold, make it say burn. Whoa, kill camera, put in my fur. I, I, I get high and read books. Huh? I am so fried, I'm cooked. <laughs> Most of my partners is crooks. <laughs> Pull up on you, now you shook. <laughs> I got the blame with Amigo. Who's just gonna play like I'm T.O. Yeah. Shawty so bad that she Evo. Yeah. But she love the green color, she go. My price is behind my ego. I rap it and sell it, I got the burritos. Yeah. I get a pack, make it big on. Bro, keep them shack at the free throws. Jason, my phone call me Stevie. Yeah. Down in the squad, I'm sleeping. Yeah. We got it looking too easy. Yeah. Just feeling the lane in my freezer. I ain't choose it, I was chosen. Damn. Now I'm ballin' like the Rosen. <laughs> Diamond singing like they frozen. <laughs> Keep a stick down, Moses. Born red and call me Otis. I'm a trapper, I'm a poet. <laughs> Smoking on green roses. Damn. Damn. I'm a flower bomb, see my lotus. How about the porch? How about the bird? Whoa. Hey, sir, you the word. We just have a word. We're so cold, we can say bird. Kill, can't run, I put on my bird.